Welcome to your Marks Max Muscles Amateur Grand Prix. Today's matchup features Roland Kickinger versus Pete Grimkowski. Now, most of these matches in this Amateur Grand Prix in the first round have been blowouts. And if you think about it, if you watch some of the old amateur matches between some of the good athletes versus some of the not-so-good athletes, a lot of these amateur matches are total blowouts. So this kind of does make sense. I'm sorry, I just received a little bit of criticism from people telling me not to do these matches. But I think most of those were trolls, so we just ignore that. And this is an amateur Grand Prix, and you are going to see some blowouts. But I must say, Pete Grimkowski is more than doing battle against the more modern bodybuilder in Roland Kickinger. I don't know. I am almost at a loss in this one. I would give it to Pete, no doubt, in anybody's mind, he should get the victory. But then you look at the lags, and it's kind of a tight decision. I'm still going to go with Pete. Look at them arms on this man. But unfortunately for Pete... His arms do not translate well into the front double bicep. Now, I noticed this in his match with Mike Katz. His arms look much bigger at the standing relaxed, but go for that double bicep, and his biceps seem to dwindle away. I don't know how to explain this. I guess Phil Heath maybe have the same problem. You could see him doing the most muscular against Kai Green and just massive big arms. Just blows Kai out of the water. But translate to a front double by, and Kai has the bigger arms. And same thing here. Roland Kick a Girl has massive, big, pointy peaks in those biceps. Of course he does. He ha he played Arnold, so it's kind of required to have peaky biceps, is it not? And now that this match is underway, it is apparent that it is a blowout, much like all the other first round matches. I got a little bit excited about this one. Judging from that front relaxed position, and Pete was armed and ready to go. Maybe perhaps for the upset, but nothing doing. This Roland could be a... Well, he's not a dark horse in this tournament. I expected him to do fairly well. And it is obvious that he is just too much for Pete Grimkowski. Not only is he bigger, but he is better as well. Pete, I will say, he looked fantastic in the front relaxed position, and a couple other poses, but really, when it comes down to brass tacks, I can see why he is not the big superstar that a lot of the other bodybuilders from his era were. But let's check out one more pose. And this was one of the better poses for Grimkowski. I thought maybe he could save some face. But I think this is just going to serve warning for Roland Kick-A-Girl's next opponent to watch his back. Wow, what a most muscular pose. Like I said, Pete looks good, but just kick a gut is just bigger, better. Look at the striations in that chest. So it was a pretty easy advancement for Roland. But look at his opponent for the next round. Marco Savolyanin. He will not be pushed around like Pete Grimkowski. Of course, Roland is not here to be a punching bag like Ron Tufel was to Marco Savolyanin. What a matchup of epic proportions. I look forward to that one, but it won't be for a while. There's still a few of the first round matches to go. Next match in this tournament features Leon Brown versus Paul Grant. Two of the long shots in this tournament, but you never know when it comes to Leon Brown. Great all-around athlete. One to look forward to. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good day.